Well, only on Fox, a recent upstate graduate is going viral for the speech that she gave to her senior class, boldly sharing her faith and opening up about hardships in her life. I sat down with her to hear her story. Even if you accomplish all of your dreams or none of them at all, you are still valuable and you are still good enough because you are made in the image of God. These are the parting words from valedictorian and senior class president Lydia Owens to her graduating class at Woodmont High School. In the three minute speech, Owens shares how her decade long definition of success was redirected two years ago. I had that reality check almost two years ago when my mom passed away. When tragedy struck my life, it was not my grades nor my accomplishments that helped me navigate through that loss. When everything else in my life felt uncertain, the only person that I could depend on to say the same was Jesus. Owens says her mom was her biggest inspiration. Well, she always pushed me to be my like best self. She always encouraged me in my faith. Um, she's the reason that I had such a strong faith. Uh, she was the example to me of how to be a godly woman and how to love people intentionally. But it wasn't always easy. I got really into like a hard place where I was really doubting God and just like <clears throat> what his plan for me was. I didn't understand how God could use such a terrible tragedy in my life for his glory. Her father, Brian, says apart from their faith in Christ, they had each other to lean on. Well, right after her mom passed away, I talked to the whole family and just said, you know, I don't really know where we go from here. I don't know really what we're going to do, but whatever we're going to do, we're going to do it together. Also just remembering that's what my mom wanted me to do. She wouldn't want me to like be sad and just give up. She wanted me to be my best and she wanted me to keep going. Encouraging those around her despite the hardships life brings. You don't have to worry about whether or not you'll be successful because God promises that his grace is sufficient for us and that his power is made perfect in our weaknesses. I asked Lydia what it was like hearing the roaring applause from her peers. I was like, okay, like this, this was the moment that God wanted, like, my, like what happened with my mom to be used for. Um, it was really difficult and it was really scary, but I got a very overwhelming positive feedback. I definitely did have some people tell me that like, oh, I knew you were going to talk about Jesus, but like that's going to happen no matter what you say. Uh, I was squalling like a baby, <laughs> obviously. Uh, there was a lot of joy and pride there, but likewise knowing that her mom wasn't there to celebrate with us this huge accomplishment. But I also take recognition of the fact that I know that she was looking down and she was definitely smiling from heaven on that day. I don't want anyone to say, wow, Lydia, you did a great job. Like, you were the one that said all those words. Like, that wasn't me speaking. Like, yes, I said the words, but that was God speaking through me. Well, Lydia says being a graduate doesn't quite feel real just yet, but in the fall, she's actually going to be attending Anderson University, majoring in elementary education. So we wish you the best, Lydia.